Let's do it. Hey friends, thanks for joining. Today we are making something so delicious. We're making a hummingbird cake by Jamie Oliver. Now it's not anything new. It was a few years ago where he made it from his cookbook called Comfort Food, but it's a rainy summer day and we thought what better to cheer us up than a hummingbird cake. Doesn't that just sound so delicious? So one of the reasons why we think it's called hummingbird cake is because it's so sweet that the hummingbirds would flock to it. What does I tell you? If you look at his ingredient list, it's all in metrics. So Gina and I had to convert that over to the US um, number. So these numbers are rough. So math is important. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, okay, so we need self-rising flour. So we're gonna put that into our bowl. We're gonna do a little ground cinnamon. Mix that up first. Nice little stir. And then we're gonna add in the sugar, which is a lot. It's actually the same amount of sugar as it is the same amount of flour. So we're gonna pour that in. That's Whoa. it? Yeah. Three cups of sugar, two no. and a half cups of flour. They're the exact same. He has 350 grams for both. Mmm, the recipe I used was U.S. recipe, or U.S. measurements. Oh. Okay, so apparently there's a couple of versions, so we'll let you know. Three cups of sugar, that sounds scary. Okay. You know you mine's going to taste better. <laughs> Four large bananas. We're going to mash that up together. Mash, mash. And then we're going to add a whole half a cup of olive oil. It's a cup. Is it a cup? Oh my God, there's more olive oil? I did it a little bit out of order than you, because I know with a cake, traditionally when you bake, you have your dry, you have your wet, but I saw an opportunity to save uh, myself from having to wash one extra bowl. So I did the wet in a bowl, and then now I'm gonna add the dry to it. No, Gina, no shortcuts in baking. This is how we mess up. No, All right. Today. So two. <laughs> okay, so to your giant one cup of olive oil and your bananas, we're gonna add in two eggs, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then we're just gonna mix away. Aren't we supposed to put in pineapple? Pineapple, going in. To the wet batter, we're gonna fold in our dry ingredients. We're gonna do it in a couple batches, just so that it goes in nicely. Set aside and get your two cake pans that have already been greased. In the oven, 350 for about 35 to 40 minutes until it's nice and golden and spongy to your fingers. But in the meantime, we're going to make the icing. Okay, go. <laughs> All right, part two. We're gonna work on the icing. Wait a minute. Were we supposed to add the sugar to the cake? My cake is cooking without sugar. I have to take it out. How could you forget to put sugar when I, we went through the steps together? I said flour and then cinnamon and then your sugar. Because I took a shortcut, remember? <laughs> Should I take it out and it, like it's half baked? Should I do it anyway? The people want to know. So do I. <laughs> <Paul. Okay. laughs> this is 15 minutes in. Oh, it already formed. sugar on cooked cake. Imagine what this looks like right now. I'm stubborn. I'm stubborn and determined. I'm gonna make this work. <laughs> You know, one of the questions we commonly get about our videos is, 
Gina messing up? Is that for real? I'm afraid to say it is. <laughs> it is. Yep. It's okay. Cooking is supposed to be fun. If it's not enjoyable, it's a chore and it's not fun. We have fun because cooking yes. is fun. Icing's done. We're going to stick it in the fridge until we are ready. And the next up, we're going to make homemade pecan brittle. And we're going to crumble it on top of our cake. See you in a minute. How did your cake turn out? I'm interested to see yours because mine turned out golden, but you have the special sugar at the end. So I have a golden one, and then I have this one. I'm going to make a deconstructed hummingbird cake. Okay, so kids, follow directions. No shortcuts. So my brittle didn't work out either. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I have this. My cake and Gina's trifle. <laughs> mmm, it's so good. Is it? Even though you didn't mix the sugar, it's still mixed in well, right? No, it tastes horrible. The outside is like that chewy burnt, and then the inside is mushy. It's perfect. It's a little sweet, sweeter than normal cakes but not overly sweet all that olive oil i thought it was gonna be dense but it's actually really fluffy you know what this tastes like it's like a banana bread cake but it's got all those chunks of pineapples but it's like light and airier and more moist than i guess like sometimes when i get banana bread i wish you could taste my gina my cake is so moist but fluffy and i love the uh pineapples mm. Thanks for joining us. Make sure you hit that bell and we will see you guys next week when we try not to mess up another video. The meatball, the rice, and now the sauce.